like the camera is floating through the titties. Yeah, this is what I mean. The whole anime is gonna be massive fan service, right? Yeah, it's like. Ooh. This is what I'm here for the tightness, yeah, the thickness. Thickness, baby! It's the thickest anime ever. This is gonna be your, your thick tights all the time. But this is a beautiful anime. Yeah! Look at my. <laughs> Come on! Sure, they sure. She's very ganky, that's like her, she's very happy, don't get me wrong, she's a very happy main character, she's like, yeah! Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's all like, let's go guys! There we go, <laughs> there we go, there <laughs> poops, this is what I mean! She yaps and he's like, you mess, of course, yes, she falls into the water or something! Her kicks up his ear pants! Yeah, of course, it's just like, this absurd, like, uh, fan service. <laughs> So, hello and morning was time for tights, right there, for thickness. Uh, so, we're gonna start recording watching summer season right today, guys. And the first episode of something I watched is thick anime, right? So it's called Atelier Rice. I have Atelier Sofa here, so I believe my hands, right? So, obviously, I played, you know, every year of Of course, I played Atelier Rice, or Atelier, pronounced right, which is like an alchemy. Year of Pagiva, you, you make a lot of stuff, right? It's about alchemy, all of them. And this anime, though, I guess it's like a promo for the games, right? Because you have three games and you want to sell them. They're quite popular, right? Uh, definitely, I think, the most popular uh, Atelier games. I've said this game, no one's ever bought, right? You know? Um, outside of Japan, basically, right? But what's really famous though with Raisa is that she's very, very thick, right? Yeah, the whole thing with Raisa is that she has like thunder tides, like Shanli, right? It's like it's so much fan of her. And I remember this first game was, was released maybe like three, four years ago. And there was so much talk about. How her, her shit, you massive, t yeah, absolute territory. Like, I feel like the whole anime, uh, so I'm gonna do the reaction here, look at the first impression episode, right? It's an hour long, so we edit it. But I feel this whole anime is just like, it's just a god of, you know, it's a fan service, right? It's to be fan service. And lastly, you can see behind me, right? We have summer edition now. So we got Marin Shan here, right? Nagatora, of course, stays, it's already summer. And Aqua, I guess, for now at least, days, it's been too long, I feel. But still, Aqua is water, so I mean, <laughs> I can't remove my Aqua. Right? Aqua is water. <laughs> I can't remove her for the beach episode. And I also changed my uh, my mouse pad a little bit here, actually. Ooh, who's that coming in there? Make a video about it later. But yeah, you have to change the mouse pad every now and then. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about Raisa then. Like I said, this is an hour special video. So I'm going to edit it right because I don't want to sit for an hour. And honestly, I don't think this anime be very good, honestly, right? It's probably gonna follow the, the, the game storyline and it's just a bit of fan service. But let's Here we go. I don't know if I have a timer up, because I probably won't follow the timer anyway. I feel I won't care about a timer anyway, guys, but <laughs> this is what it is. I might upload the full video later. Probably not. I mean, I like these games. Don't get me wrong, I like these games, right? I like I think the right side. I like the games. Like I you know, I play these games or whatever, right? You know, Sophie, whatever. Uh, so I played more than use this game, but I don't know. I expect the anime to just be like freaking tight fan service. Yeah, I expect it used to be thick fan service. The thickest anime ever. That's what I expect, right? Here she comes running. Like, I was waiting for a lot of angles of her running and like zooming in her ass or whatever. Yeah, here we go. This is the whole anime is gonna be, right? This is her, her buttocks. <laughs> yeah, her massive tights. Yeah, Thunder Tight Raisa. Oh, look at that. What a summer episode, guys. She's staring at the ocean. We're starting with Summer Baby. Yeah, it's summer anime. Hmm. Perfect, summer anime. <laughs> here we go. This is what I'm here for. The tightness, yeah, the thickness. Thickness, baby! It's the thickest anime ever. This is gonna be your, your thick tights all the time. And so it's gonna be like, thunder tights! It's all anime, guys. There's nothing else in this anime. I mean, it may, I mean, okay, so I played the game, right? And I like these games, but let's be honest with you. The game's storyline for the week, okay? You don't really play the athletic games for the storyline. Uh, you play them mostly for, you know, like, kind of like crafting and so on, right? So, uh, I don't know guys, this anime doesn't feel like it's gonna, you know, it's just gonna capture a lot of fan service <laughs> moments just zooming up her legs. <laughs> oh, that's her mom. Oh, Kasha, yeah. It's just, it's just like, what's the storyline? Like, yeah, her mom's boobs, I guess. <laughs> but it's what I, what is the storyline here? There is no storyline, it's just like, TV party members. Maybe it's a new story though, I guess. Maybe, it's, okay, it's interesting. Maybe it's not following the main game storyline, because she has, she has, has her friends. That's true. She might already have portrait members. Okay, that actually is interesting. So let's break it down, right? But think about it. Maybe it isn't following the, the game storyline. Maybe because you already have three games, right? And so in the second game and third game, you already have your portraits, right? So um, maybe this is like in between the games or whatever, but it, it, it feels like this is taking place after the first game. So you already have your portrait members. 
don't think about it. It's a lot of fan service in the other party members or whatever. So this axe is my maybe it's, it's its own storyline. Maybe it's better than I was thinking because if it's just following the main storyline, then I feel it's gonna be a little whatever. Right? Very happy though. She's a ganky girl. I mean, it's a very soft game. Okay, all these games are pretty chill. Okay. Most of the games are like, they're like Final Fantasy, which is like, you know, someone killed my brother. It was me! Yeah, it's, it's not, they're not like that dark, you know, it's like, someone murdered my parents and I want revenge. Atelier games are more like, I want to have friendship and just go out and be an alchemist, yeah. In Sofa, it's like, oh, wh who happened to my friend? My friend is gone or something, yeah. I need to, like I said, it's quite a colorful game, right? I mean, the anime is quite colorful. So if you like that kind of, I mean, I think it's pretty popular in Japan, I mean, it's... Has all the typical JRPG colors. I mean, the very bright red hair. It's very beautiful. Yeah, it's very like bright colored, right? Um, you said the games, right? Um, but I feel the whole game aesthetics also comes back to the game storyline, right? Yeah, but it is quite more soft as one. Uh, you know, and if she runs, I can follow me, guys. Yeah, it's kind of soft. You know, stalking these guys. You know, everyone got like anime hair. The game is very anime. Everyone got like you know, like bright hair colors and. This guy got like some green thing in his face. Yeah, everyone's kind of like that, right? That's kind of how it is. Yare, yare, indeed, yeah. Yare, yare. But this is a beautiful anime. Yeah! Look at my <laughs> Come on, it's the whole anime. It's a very geeky main character. And it's like, look at my body. Yeah, she had I know. But it's kind of like, you know, yay! And she's standing there showing off her, her booty. Yeah, it's like. They sure, they sure. She's very ganky. That's like her. She's very happy. Don't get me wrong. She's a very happy main character. She's like, yeah. You wanna, you wanna venture with me, boy? She's very, very excited for this. Yeah, she's a very excited main character. She's very happy. Oh yeah, she's all like, let's go, guys. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is what I mean. She yaps and it's like a massive, like the camera is floating through her titties. Yeah, this is what I mean. The whole anime is gonna be massive fan service, right? Yeah, it's like. This is gonna be like a lot like that, right? Where the camera goes up in her crops or something. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, this, uh, this is gonna be the whole anime, right? There we go. Now it zooms in on her tights, man. This is so fan service. And then it zooms in on her, uh, on her absolute territory when she stands there and, you know, that's her face and so on. Yeah, let's go! Yeah! Damn! <laughs> Tickest anime ever! <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Thank you, yeah. She's being like, yeah, let's go, let's go! He's like, okay. Yeah, she's being happy about it, you know? Look at Yeah, but she's like, yeah, let's go! Yeah, yeah. I like how happy she is, though. Yeah. Just follow me, guys! They're like, uh, okay, you seem to... I'm confident about this, okay. Yeah. Oh, suddenly played like a game soundtrack or something? Are they gonna fight anything? Yeah, they finally fought like a score or something. They haven't fought anything in the episode yet. I don't think so, at least. Because now he's falling over instead. Yeah, it's a very... I guess the anime kind of fits the, the, the anime, the, the actual game. It's very, like... You know, non-conflict pace. You actually grab you force it to the of course. Yes, you force it to the water or something. Where <laughs> kicks out of your pants. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's just like this absurd like uh, fan service anime. It's just pure fan service. This whole anime is just fan service, man. Like you force it to the water and kicks up her panties. You're like, yeah, okay. Well. There we go. So I mean the cute little girl to save, yes, finally. Finally a fight maybe. The anime is there the fights yet? Like slime something? The first level of one enemy. Yeah, the game finally starts. Yeah, cute slimes for the Dray quest or whatever. But yeah, it's weird how the enemy has been like 34 minutes and they're finally gonna fight something. But yeah, she's okay, so you have to play the games. You, um, as an alchemist, you can make your own weapons on it. So she's like, I gotta throw this stuff at it. And I have, yeah. So she's, has, she's crafted this stuff to throw them. Yeah, so, you, so in the game, right, you, you craft like bombs or grenades or more like. Sticky glue or whatever, and you throw it. Oh, if I combine this thing, you know, I can throw a sticky bomb with you when you get stuck in the ground or whatever, yeah. Or I can throw an ice ball or something, right? So she's like, oh, I'm throwing my, you know, that I've crafted or whatever. Um, so that was pretty good as an anime. From a gaming standpoint, that felt like kind of how the game is. Uh, she's kind of like, of course the awesome is the most useful character, but in the beginning of the game, they're kind of useless. Like, oh, I just throw stuff at them, right? And, yeah. and of course, now they befriend the cute archer girl. Yeah, now they get a new party member. The first, uh, second, <laughs> first female for this is the main character. Yeah, and they all lost, of course. Yeah. <laughs> this way! But she's very ganky, you know. She's very typical 
Yeah, Raisa is kind of like a Genki. She's similar to more like a Shonen character, or like a male Shonen character. Yeah, let's follow me. Yeah, she's more like that. Right? Shut up in my path, you know. It may be right, maybe it's wrong, but I am in command, you know. She definitely. Oh, she's teaching her about flowers, right? It's kind of the game is. Yeah, she's just like these flowers are good for frost magic or whatever. Yeah, she's like. Because in the game you grind a lot, you craft a lot, right? You you, you go around and you craft items and you find flowers or whatever, right? You know, it goes in those typical role-playing games. Uh, but these games especially are very much about farming, right? So she's like, oh, this flower is good for this recipe, right? Okay. And, you know, and usually you have another character in the game that will teach you how to be an ocean mist, right? So the main character can learn from someone else, that's like a mentor or something, right? So you have someone else with more, uh, you know... But this now it actually is very gamey, yeah. Now she stands here, they're playing the battle music, right? They're playing the battle soundtrack. And she's like, I will have to defend him. Yeah, now it actually is very video game. Yeah, let's fight them. And it's like, they're playing the soundtrack for the game and so on. It's like, yeah, get ready. <laughs> now it's very video game. Yeah, we're being attacked by the enemies. Okay, now it became like a straight up year for fight. You know, we're standing here, they're floating. It's like, it's my turn to attack. Yeah, it's like, it's down, man. the tank, man. You gotta pick your tank. She's fighting with her weird three section staff thing she has. And the other character are AFK or something. The other character are useless, yeah, they don't do anything. The archer girl is stands there, yeah, they're... You gotta do something. You're saved by the veteran, uh, yeah, the veteran baddest lady is gonna save you, yeah, with her claws, right? She's gonna show them the ropes. But I guess it's gonna follow the game storyline. Oh yeah, this guy's a better archer, so he throws like a bomb at him. He's like a pro archer, so yeah, he's like, I got my stuff going on, girl. Exactly, I, I have prepared like a bomb or something. Exactly, this is how the game works, right? So, I guess it is following the game storyline, then. I suppose so, mostly. Hmm. Obviously, these two are badass, right? He's like a badass Archibald warrior, and the girl is a badass ninja lady, basically, right? So, they're like, oh no, they're much better than we are. They got the power we should have, yeah. It's like, man, they're so much better than we are, you know? <laughs> I like how her, her boobs had an arrow stuff. <laughs> now think about it, now I forgot about that on the side. <laughs> yeah, it's like they're pointing at her at titties. They're very interesting, very interesting boob uh, bandage there, yeah. They're very interesting. I guess he's, yeah, he teaches their moves, right? Basically, it's like, this is how you do it, right? So it's very, very like the video game. But I mean, the game is fine, but clearly the anime is kind of, I would say, boring. No, but it's like, it's kind of similar to other kind of soft animes, where you just kind of chill out, right? These games aren't that super active, right? They're more about crafting and grinding and so on. And I feel this anime, in a similar way, is a lot about, oh, this is how you make Oshimi, and it's like, it's kind of chill, right? Yeah, and I'm still happy because, of course, she's teaching, you know, she getting the basic how to make uh, stuff as well. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel, yeah, then you get the potions and so on, right? Um, if it's the anime, it's following me very slavery, good. Yeah, so let's review it. Um, but this kind of want to end it all, right? Because, again, this anime, I think, is not that good, right? Um, in the sense that it depends on what you want to watch, right? Um, you have these shows, right? It's called Iski or whatever, right? Where you have, uh, you know, like, oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a potion guy, or I'm a chef or whatever. Not like Soma, but more like, you know, they get Isekai, and then they're running a restaurant. Or they get Isekai, or they're running, like, a potion store. This anime basically fits at them, right? Where, and obviously, it makes sense, because the main character is an alchemist, right? Uh, research about you know making potions or whatever. Uh, so if you actually play the game, like if I had Sophie here, right? Uh, which is an Easter guy for them. This game is an Easter guy, so yeah, she said for them in the second game. But all these games are kind of like, yes, you go around and fight, right? They have a lot of RPG, you know, oh, fighting these toads, fighting these slimes or whatever, and end up loot, right? And then you have to find a lot of stuff to pick up. It's a lot of, you know, grinding. You pick up this stuff and so on. And how say the games are kind of like typical, like, you know, Oh, but you can't farm this big tree because you need to have the hatchet. So you need to find this stuff. Then you can go home, you can craft the hatchet. Now you can go out and get better loot, right? So it has backtracking, but backtracking more as, you know, oh, now I can get the better loot, or I can get more loot, or I can get the specific uh, diamond out, out of this ore. I could also get ore, but with this hatchet or this pick, pickaxe, I can get a better diamond, maybe, right? And so on and so forth, right? So it's a lot of like replaying the areas, trying to get better loot and so on, right? And then, of course, by getting better stuff, you craft better gear, right? Better potion or whatever. Then you can fight better bosses, right? So, in the end of the game, right, it's a JRPG, right? You have a role-playing game, and you want to defeat, you know, the evil dragon, whatever, right? Yeah. 
uh, but you do it a lot by them crafting and of course the game also has basically every game has like i say it like a crafting mechanic right like it's kind of maybe not unique but it's kind of how say it it's uh, complicated it's advanced or whatever yeah the, the, the game's craft systems are kind of advanced it's like a mini game you have to put stuff in it and and th those things are changed between the different games right but basically when you are crafting is part of the game like half the game is actually the crafting itself after this thing it's well, yeah which is kind of fun right it's pretty fun but clearly an anime like this are, are not going to have much of like the battles right they had like one fight episode it's just, it's just gonna have that much of the actual like engagement okay we're gonna fight these like toads or whatever uh, it might be that right and it also won't really show you like the mini games right when they are crafting i guess a little bit like that but obviously mostly when she is crafting it's gonna be like do 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 and kind of kawaii throwing stuff in the in, in the bottle right it's not gonna be like this massive you know oh i'm crafting this thing or whatever it's mostly gonna be like you know dunk dunk <laughs> you know boom yeah explosion oh it's kind of trickier as she face or whatever but it's not gonna be like an actual, I don't know, secret to that game. Um, so what we left with is the main story, right, of the actual game, uh, or, or the ga maybe it's going to be all the three games or whatever, right? We left with the storyline, and as I said earlier in, in, in another process, that the, I think the storyline is like the weakest part, right? The storyline is the weakest part of this game because they are known for, as I said, being very crafty, right, being very grindy, being if you like those elements in a role playing game, which I do and do, right? This games, these games are a lot about the gameplay. You don't play this game too much for the storyline. Uh, like compared earlier to FF16 or whatever, right? So I'm playing currently. F16 has a dark storyline. You kill your brother, who, your mom is evil, something who betrayed your father. You know that that stuff, right? The Atelier games are kind of like, yeah, I wanna be an alchemist. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> they're very, very soft, right? Yeah, they're much softer. So you, I, I don't think anyone plays them for the storyline really. I'm not saying they're not terrible, but sort of are more you know kawaii and wholesome, right? You, know, you mostly play them for the gameplay. It's hard to capture this kind of gameplay in an anime, right? And half the episode is mostly just fan service. Yeah, her falling down in the water, you see your pants or whatever. Yeah, and half the episode is, is a bunch of fan service, right? which is what I expected. Don't get me wrong, that is good though. Yeah. But I feel from a story aspect, you know, it is for this, right? And it's quite soft and it's very, very mellow. The anime is very slow right there. You know, not much happens in the episode. But there's a problem, I mean, because, like I said, the crafting in, in the game is sort of a big thing, right? Both from an actual gathering and crafting, but also the actual crafting itself is a game in itself, right? That is not animated at all. So you're removing so much of the gameplay, right? Yeah, and, and what you left with then is just kind of like the wholesome storyline and a lot of, you know, thick ass and big titties. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're left with, right? You're left with just like boobies, right? You're left with fan service. So, yeah, the anime doesn't really capture anything of the gameplay, right? Really, not really. They could have had more fights, though. Let's, let's be honest, they could have way more fights. Of course, in the game, you, you actually fight a lot of enemies all the time, right? You go into a, like a forest, you have to fight like 10 different bikes, you know what I mean? They only had like one fight here, so they could have had more of that stuff. Um, but I don't even know if that's the most important, though. Hmm. So, but in the end, brother, you, you, you end up with an anime that is, yeah, I think quite similar to this, like, yeah, you know, running a restaurant anime, or whatever. Like, and not like Soma, but like, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm running a restaurant with my waifu and the cooking food and herbing or whatever yeah but that being said i mean it's kind of a chili anime right yeah it's a chili anime so i probably won't watch more of this thing unless i might do it this episode where i do our edit right and i look at all the thickness yeah i might i don't know if i'm going to react to it because the episode is kind of like yeah it's kind of i keep saying it's mellow but you, every fifth minute you have like a massive ass scene or something <laughs> yeah every fifth minute is like thick <laughs> right it's like a really this is anime so weird too this anime is so weird because i mean like I keep saying, right? It's very slow, right? It's like a slow burn anime. I mean, it's a wholesome slow anime, right? Uh, it's not very action packed. And then every fifth minute, it's like a massive fan service scene where she jumps into the boat and you see your boobs or something. Yeah, and it's like what? <laughs> and then it goes. Then it's like a mellow, you know, oh, we're, we're just adventuring. It's all happy. Five minutes later, you see her like tick tights or something, yeah, thunder tights. Yeah, and then it goes back. Is it weird? It's like it's just a weird anime because it keeps going back and forth between that. That makes it so weird. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's a review of uh, After the Risa, right? Um, it is honestly what I expected. Yeah, it's what I expected uh, to be kind of I keep saying slow, kind of you know, we're farmers or whatever, we're crafters, and then a lot of fan service. Yeah, it's what I expected, right? Yeah, a lot of fan service and sometimes. Uh, you, you, you gotta see her crafting or something, uh, you know, she's a kawaii or 
dropping the potion or whatever. Yeah, it's a lot of fan service. I mean, that's a part of fan service too, right? I mean, isn't it? I mean, fan service isn't just to see your butt, right? Fan service also here be like, ah, drop my potion, ah, come on, yeah. There's also fan service, yeah, like her being cute, right? So it's a very waifu anime, yeah. Tickest cute waifu dropping potions and falling in slimes or whatever, or falling into the, to the lake and dropping her pants. Yeah, that, that's the whole anime, basically, right? Just cry. And if you subscribe, tap button, have a great day.